This instructional video is designed to show you how to use the ideal gas law, which is PV equals NRT, to find different quantities, such as pressure, number of moles, temperature, and volume. In our first example here, we have one mole of an ideal gas at 12.5 atmospheres and negative 75 degrees Celsius, and we're looking to find the volume. Since the ideal gas law is PV equals NRT, we need to use V equals NRT over P. We have the moles, we have the pressure, and we have the temperature. And so we can substitute in everything. We have one mole of our gas. We have our ideal gas constant, which is 0.08206 liter atmosphere per mole of Kelvin. Because it's using Kelvin, we have to convert our minus 75 degrees Celsius to degrees Kelvin, and that is 198.15 Kelvin. So all the units cancel out once we place our pressure at the bottom, at the bottom, 12.5 atmospheres, and this gives us a volume of 1.30 liters. So that's our first example. Our next example uses moles. We have uh, 1.3 moles. Uh, it uses the volume, 74 liters, and the pressure, 45 atmospheres. So the only thing left to determine is the temperature. And that means that we need to rewrite the ideal gas law for temperature. PV over NR. So this means then that our temperature be the result of plugging in all of our values, pressure, our volume, our number of moles, and our gas constant, 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres divided by moles times Kelvin. And the value we get for our temperature is pretty large. Uh, it's 156,000 Kelvin. Next we have a question looking for the number of moles when we're given a volume of 1 liter, temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, and a pressure of 1 atmosphere. Since this is number of moles, we have N equals PV over RT. And plugging in, we've got uh, one atmosphere for our pressure, one liter for the volume, our gas constant, 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And then finally the temperature. Because it's 25 degrees Celsius, we have to convert that to degrees Kelvin. So we have 298.15. And when we simplify this all the way out, we get 0 0.0409 moles. So our last example is looking to find the pressure when we're given number of moles, volume occupied, and the temperature. So P equals NRT over V. And we can just plug in our values here. We have 10 moles, our gas constant, 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And then our temperature, 0 degrees Celsius, easy to convert, 273.15 Kelvin. And we divide all of that by the volume, which is 8.0 liters. And so our final answer here for the pressure then is 28.02 atmospheres. And so these are just some straightforward examples of finding volume, temperature, pressure, or number of moles using the ideal gas law plus the relevant additional information.